Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Program Users TV. So it's been quite a while since we last uh, taught, of course, C Sharp. So today we're going to jump right again to C Sharp. Okay, this is a data grid view. We're going to see how to construct a metro data grid view, of course, with one action button. Then we're going to see how to handle the button click of that particular button, and then of course get the item that's been clicked. By the this type of tutorial. Of course, a uh, button column, we had covered it in one of our first c -sharp tutorials some years back. But then, of course, uh, we are updating the tutorials, okay, just to improve the quality and also using right here the Metro theme, which is actually uh, this nice uh, front UI framework, right? So, this is a data grid view, right here you can see the name, the cause, right here. Okay, then we have the level, the stream, and then of course the action. So, for instance, I come click at the first item right here. We have this student. Then, if you come click the contact, you can see hello. Then, of course, it's telling us the name. Okay, uh, of the student. So you can see we are able to retrieve, of course, the name property of the student uh, row that has been clicked. If I come to this zone uh, right here, then click. You can see right here we're able to retrieve that one. That's the purpose of this particular tutorial. It's a beginner class. So this is what we're going to do. So join us we get started. So the first step of course is to create the project right here. So uh far up your Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio 2013. You guys can use any uh, version, it really doesn't matter. This is a WinForm application, okay? Then of course go to the templates, then visual studio visual c sharp then of course windows then of course windows forms type the name of the uh, windows form project then click ok this is going to create for us the project so once we've created the project the first thing of course let's move to our winforms designer lay right here from one.cs okay then of course go ahead in your designer in your toolbox go ahead drag the data grid view right here you can just search a data grid view drag it over of course to uh, your project okay just drag it over to your wind forms for me i'm not going to uh, drag it because i already have it right here so it's just of course the ordinary data grid view you can see it right here uh belonging of course in the system dot windows dot form namespace now once you ha have it right there of course for me i've used the met metro theme right here to theme my app okay so you guys you can if you want the metro theme you guys can get it uh in the new gate so you can just come right here then of course add it as a reference of course from the uh, new get repository now for me i already have a tutorial explaining how to do that in detail so i'm not going to do that one instead i'm going to leave of course a link to that particular tutorial for now just drag the data grid view then of course once you've dragged it uh, let's come right here to the events section okay we're going to handle uh, the cell click event right here no not the for the form one for the data grid view so make sure you select the data grid view then of course we come right here we're going to handle uh, this one the cell click okay the cell click this of course is an event that of course will get traced when any part of the cells in our data grid view gets clicked so just double click it is going to create for our an event handler in our code behind file in our c sharp file so do that one we proceed on so once we've done that one then we're going to create another class so just right click your project then of course come to add then of course choose class okay then give it a name for me my name is the student so we're going to have the student.cs this of course is our data object class it's our poc or class okay so what it's going to represent a single student of course with these details so we're going to create the properties of the student right here for instance the name property okay then of course we have the get and set okay these of course are our auto properties the name the student is going to have a name is going to have a cause is going to have a cause type is going to have a level is going to have the stream okay so of course the level is going to be an integer 
the others are going to be strings it's a simple class it's our data object go ahead create it right here so in our data grid view each particular row is going to correspond to a single student or it so do that one then of course we proceed over to our form one with cs class so the next thing of course we're going to jump over to our form one class okay this is a partial class first we're going to make it of course uh, by default it's deriving from the system dot windows uh, dot forms okay but for us of course given that we are using the metro th framework we're going to make it de of course uh, derive from the metro form right here okay metro framework dot forms so dot forms dot uh, metro form right here just to give us the material design thing now if you don't have it installed then of course just use the ordinary windows form okay the system dot windows dot forms uh, right here it's form uh, object so first we make it just derive from the form right there then of course inside our constructor this is our constructor the constructor of course gets called when of course that particular object gets instantiated like for us if this particular form one class gets instantiated inside our constructor we're going to call initialize components which is actually going to of course initialize our components that you're using inside these particular wind forms okay now this particular initialized components of course is defined in our form one dot designer.cs another partial class that's going to work with this our form one class okay so that's it then of course you guys remember in our data grid view one cell click event handler where this was our event handler we had specified it right here in our data grid view so if you didn't just come right click of course your data grid view come to the properties then come right here to the events section then of course double click the cell click okay so the cell click event shall get traced when the user clicks any cell inside our data grid view so for us when the user does that one we're going to handle that particular cell click event all right so when any cell is clicked we're going to handle that particular event right here we're going to see uh, that one later on so for now let's come create a data grid view button column so private read only data grid view button column button equal to new data grid view uh, button column we just instantiate it uh, right here then of course we are calling inside our constructor a construct data grid view method this particular method is going to construct for us our data grid view uh, let's come define it so first of course it's a void method is not returning anything so we come right here first we're going to specify the number of columns that we're going to construct in this case we're going to have five columns so data grid view one dot colon count equal to five okay that's going to give us five columns let's then come define their headers so data grid one dot columns okay index zero dot name equal to name this is the header right here and of course we have the cause as the second the cause type the third right there then of course our level and then of course the stream those are five columns okay that are going to display our text data of course dynamically we're going to create our data grid view button column so in total actually we're going to have six columns all right but then uh we're going to see that one later on in a short while then of course data grid view one dot auto size columns mode equal to data grid view auto size columns mode dot fill this is going to make of course all our columns of course to fill the whole width of our data grid view okay so our columns are going to fit the rows uh the whole width of our data grid view rows so we set this one to fill uh, right here then we're going to call a method that you are calling the add button column this method is going to add another column to a data grid view so we'll define it in a short while then of course our data grid view uh, dot columns dot add actually of course inside this add button column this is going to of course specify the properties of this particular uh, data grid view button column object that we've just instantiated we'll do that one inside this method then of course data grid view one dot columns dot add we add it that particular 
uh, column okay then of course add rows is going to add our data of course to our data grid view so let's come right here first specify the add row uh, method okay which is going to add our rows so of course we're going to loop through of course our students all right which is actually a list so we're going to see this one in a short while okay we'll define this get students in a short while for now just know that of course we are looping through of course a list of students so for each of our student in get students get students is going to return for us a list of students then of course for each particular iteration we're going to be constructing our rows so data grid v1 dot rows dot add then of course we specify the student properties student dot name student dot cause student dot cause type student dot level and then student dot stream okay so each particular row is actually going to correspond to a single student so then let's come right here create our add button column method this method right here we are specifying the properties of our data grid view button column object so button dot header text equal to at action okay why am i using this at symbol a prefix just before my a string right here well of course i'm making it into a verbatim stream a verbatim a string a verbatim string is just a literal string okay it will get displayed just the way we type it so c sharp is not going to process the contents of that particular string instead it's just going to render it uh, literally the way we typed it then button dot name equal to button button dot text okay then button dot use column text for button value so yes the column text we're going to use it as the button value so that's our add button uh, method next we're going to define the get students method this particular method is going to return for us a list object of generic type students okay so this is just the list of students that we're going to be rendering in our data grid view so list student okay the generic type is the student our data object that we had created students equal to new list we instantiate it then of course we're going to add our data of course uh let's go ahead add of course a instantiate a single student so student s equal to new student then of course using our object initializer we're going to specify the properties okay so for instance the name property we have right here galileo then of course the cause astronomical studies then of course the cause type we have the diploma the level <coughs> sorry the level we're going to have five then of course the stream is not so that's our student this is right here of course is an object initializer we're using it of course uh, to initialize our student object with properties then of course we let's not forget to add our student object to our students list okay so we're going to do that one for many of course other students we we'll first instantiate the student then add the properties using the object initializer then of course i uh, make sure that we add that particular student object to our students list all right so we can have uh, you can have there as many students as you like now in the upcoming tutorials i'm going to teach how to work with the databases okay in this type of tutorial and then also how to show the master detail of view using our buttons so that's it that's going to do for us at the end of the day of course we are just returning our students list next we come to our data grid view one cell click this is our event handler when the user clicks any cell in our data grid view okay this particular the cell click event is going to get traced when the cell click event gets raised we're going to handle it using this particular method so private void data grid view one cell click then the object is sender okay uh, is passed to us and then of course the data grid view cell event as object as well okay so we come inside right here the first thing we're going to create a students array so student students equal to get students the true array so remember our get students was returning for us a list of students so we're just 
are casting it to an array so that we can work with it easy uh, in an easier manner so we come inside an if else condition right here we're going to come and say if e dot column index equal to five and e dot row index is less than students dot length now what are we doing right here we're, we're just checking if the user has clicked the button column okay our button column of course its index is index five so we check if e dot column index equal to five that is if the user has clicked the button column okay any cell of course in the button column and e dot row index is less than students dot length right here we're just checking of course the students dot length this of course is going to give us the total number of students we just uh, of course uh want to make sure that the user has actually clicked the cells that are cell that has a student details okay because when we run our project actually the user can also click the cells that of course do not have our data hence raising an exception so we just want to make sure that he's clicked one of the cells that of course one of the uh, that has the data so students dot length right here it's going to give us the total number of cells the total number of rows that of course have our data so once we uh, check that one we're going to create a try catch block right here then of course we come string student name then of course students e dot row index dot name we just pass in the row index in our students array then of course retrieve its name property so we get the student name then of course we show it in a message box a metro message box so metro message box dot show this this of course this one right here is the instance okay we are inside this particular form one object so the instance we pass our form one instance this then hello plus student name so of course you guys can pass in uh, any property you want if you wanted to show the cause you can pass it right here if you want to show the cause type etc you guys can go ahead uh, pass any data you want right there okay so then of course message box buttons dot okay message box icon dot information right there then of course we're going to catch any exception if we have any and then of course log it out in our console so that's going to do for us uh, that's our but from one class let's proceed on and run our project so guys if you run the project this is what we're getting our data grid view right here and then of course you can see the name the cause the cause type the level the stream as well as the action so you come click any button right here you can see we're able to get a robot if we type it right there then of course if you come click this student you can see we're able to get his details okay so this is it this is what we're uh, doing right here so guys uh in the next in the next tutorial we're going to see how to open of course editing forms right here okay we're going to, it's going to be a master detail a tutorial we're going to see how to use the several action buttons to handle for instance if you click uh say edit okay then it opens for you an editing form then of course you edit data for that particular student so stay tuned for that particular tutorial for now uh browse over to our website campusha.info we're going to leave the link in the description there you're going to be able to find the source code for all our projects take care and catch you in the next class